Hello and welcome to this session which is called Eliminate Lost Opportunity in Your Financial Services Practice Forever. Now the reason this session came about is because I was speaking to a couple of clients recently and there seemed to be a bit of a recurring theme which I want to share with you and some solutions to it. My name is Ian Lane and today what I'm going to do is share a couple of um, situations with you and some simple and effective strategies that you can use to um, improve them if that's you. Um, so I'm going to run through some information and if you like what you hear, if you wait to the end I'll show you where you can go to get any help or information you need. So the reason this came about was um, I spoke with a couple of clients and one of them had hassles about um, losing clients at the back end quicker than they are coming in the front end. So he was finding he was probably not communicating in the way he should be to his clients to keep them on board. So that was the first one. The second one was about passing clients to team members, junior team members, and hoping that they're going to look after them better and just not being confident in that. And the third one was really about the, there's a lot of competitors out there with um, a variety of different offers and how they communicate with their client and keep them on board and, and let them know that um, they're safe and everything's going well for them. So the problem is th that. So we've got an increasingly competitive market with industry funds, um, you know, advertising highly, lots and lots of TV and internet based uh, competitors pushing hard. And a lot of that drives a bit of dissatisfaction into clients who are already out there and they feel as if they're under attack and you feel as if you're under attack from all of these opportunities and, and competitors out there. And the communication is just so full and, and it it's just gets to the point where people can't focus. And the impact on you is lost opportunity. So there's a solution. And the solution sounds simple, but it's not easy. Communicate better. Now to communicate better, you need to be able to communicate better and your team need to be able to communicate better. You both need to know. So it's about you learning and training your team. And you, you doing both is going to make it happen. You can't do it one way. Tool that I use and highly recommend is DISC Behavioural Assessment. And here's four simple steps on how to do it. Step number one, understand the four styles. There's four significantly different styles there. We've all got all of them in us, but one of them we're very dominant in. And that dominant one is important to understand. So the first thing for you to do is read through that table, understand what your style is. Let's say it was D, which is dominance there. And you look through the table and look at the person you're going to commu communicate with, whether it's someone on your team or your client, and you find that there is a C style. Then what you have to do is go back to this and find how to communicate better with them. So how do you do that? Well, it's simple. The old golden rule was treat people the way you like to be treated. However, the new golden rule is when in Rome, that's right, do as the Romans do. So in order to be able to do that, upskilling is the key for you. So here's a quick game plan, simple stuff. I can, for more information, what I can do is you can I can send you to a link where you can download a free copy of this simple guide, How to Read a Person Like a Book. And it's got that little graph you saw earlier plus a bunch of other information in about two or three pages, just simple, that you can print out and have beside you and use as a cheat sheet so that you can learn how to cultivate better people skills rapidly and effectively. Now, if you want even more than that, you can find out who you really are by completing your own DISC and Motivators assessment. And I do that and I include a specific strategy for you, um, which we'll communicate with, to help you improve your people skills and help you improve your people's people skills. So you can find out more here. Just fill out an email address where to send it to just here on this page. Click send and I'll get back in touch with you. So I hope this was of help. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks and good luck. Bye.